Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you um, a super delayed, uh, some like a snack purchase that I made a little while ago um, from Boxu's store and also Sugoi Mart, which is Japan Crate's store. I ordered these both back in April. It is now July. I just received these, I think, at the beginning of July, end of June. Um, one of them I, I feel kind of bad because I had ended up getting a refund on it because of like it had been several months and there was no tracking or anything so I'm like, um, I'm not, is this coming? Like, so I ended up getting a refund, I think for one of them. Um, I had a uh, box that I ordered from them, a subscription box that also didn't come. They mailed me a replacement. I also ended up getting the replacement box and the original box. I think the replacement came first. I don't remember. Um, and I don't know which, e I don't know what month each one is. I think one's April and I think one was like a May replacement because um, I had unsubscribed. But I'm honestly thinking of probably resubscribing again um, just because I really like the things that they have in them and for the, the value that I'm paying. Um, so yeah, so the um, the items I bought from my box zoo, I think I had gotten like a, uh, I had like a $10 credit because I had referred a friend, so I had a $10 credit, so I used it on their store. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys just a quick peek in there with the items, some of the items that I bought. So there's that. Okay. So this item might be familiar to you because I actually got this one in a past subscription box. I think it's like some sort of lime, um, like a sesame cracker, and it's really good. Yeah, so you can kind of see the, the lime citrus. It's really good. So I got another one of those. Um, all right, so I got here like these little fish crackers. And you don't, the sad thing is, is you don't get like slips or anything like that. Like really going into detail with some of these things. Um, but yes, yeah, so we got some fish type of little snacks here. Um, and then the next one we have, uh, this is some sort of sesame type of snack. White chocolate. Okay, so it looks like some sort of white chocolate sesame. Snack. I honestly don't even remember this and I'd have to like really dig deep in my email to find the receipt um, but this is what that is so you can kind of see the sesame and then on the side here it says white chocolate so there's some, these are like some sort of like white chocolate um, coating and then like some sort of sesame filling here so I'm excited about that and then I remember these. These are yuzu, like candied yuzu peel. So it's just kind of like, uh, you know, like the candied orange, like the dried orange, kind of similar to that. So these are candied yuzu peel. Um, okay, so we got those. And then just like a little card from them. Thank you for being a Boxu fan. Okay, and then let's see, and these little packets here. I think these, let's see. Some sort of maple pancake cookie. I didn't realize this was so small. So that's what that looks like. Hokkaido pancake. <laughs> it's like a cookie. A couple notifications for box orders because I got a replacement box. Um, so this is way back in April. So shipped at the end of April. Okay, so we had seaweed tempura. So those, um, those were those little chips I was showing you about. Um, the yuzu green tea, which is the tea bag. The red snapper crackers. Oh, okay, that's what this was. This was a little fish. Red snapper crackers. The chocolate azuki beans, the black sesame. That's kind of what I guess by looking at the bag. Candy Yuzu Peel and Hokkaido Pancake uh, Cookie. So two. Um, it's not really showing how much I spent on this one. I think it was like, I don't think it was any more than like maybe 15 or 20 dollars. 
yeah so I think that was about 15 or 20 dollars I don't remember it being too much so there's that one the next one I'm going to show you is the Sugoi uh, order that is also two months late and that's because Japan Post has restricted uh, planes coming in, in and out of the US I think there's a limited amount of planes um, okay let's see if I can find this okay so I spent 67 on this next box okay let's show you guys the next box so here's just kind of a quick peek of what is inside all right so the first one and unfortunately because of the heat um, I can see why a lot of subscription companies now are transporting chocolate during the summers because it gets hot and that one said I can see why but now <laughs> This is kind of, I can feel it's a lumpy mess. Um, but this is the Sakura Strawberry Truffle Chocolate. Um, so it's Sakura Chocolate Coated Strawberries, which I'm excited to try. Um, but as I said, it's a, it is a goopy mess in there. So there's that. This one. I actually found at Mitsua, and I had forgotten I had bought this. So this is the Sakura flavored milk tea, Royal Milk Tea. This is a really good brand. I think it tastes really good. I've never tried their Sakura flavor, um, so I'm really excited about that. It kind of shows you at the back what it looks like. You can make it hot or iced. Um, usually these I have hot. Um, when I have an ice drink, I usually make more like iced tea. Uh, like the more matcha, milky type of stuff I usually like have with my breakfast. Um, so I'm excited about this. I got two of them now. Um, and I almost thought I wasn't going to get this box. And I was super bummed because I really wanted a lot of the stuff that was in there because they had so many, so many awesome things. Um, so, okay. So the next one here is Cherry Blossom Sugar. Sakura Sugar. I'm going to probably make some sugar cookies with this. I was so excited for this. Um, okay, it does show the price on here. Um, so this was actually $15, so it was pretty pricey. But I was really excited about this. I'm glad that it came. It looks good. You can see all of the Sakura bits in it. I've actually had uh, lavender sugar, which is kind of like, they have like lavender buds in it and this is kind of like the same thing but sakura so i'm excited to try it. even though sakura season i believe is well over i think that's around april may so it's long past um they're still selling sakura stuff on their website um but yeah okay so the next one here is this fresh sakura mint toothpaste in this toothpaste um how much was that it was eight dollars so it wasn't cheap um yeah, so it wasn't cheap. That's, it was pretty pricey, but it is what it is, so I'm excited for that. All right, so the next thing here, I hope these are okay. I wonder if they're expired. Ooh, this might be expired. Uh-oh, I think this is expired. <laughs> um, I did get a refund on this box, full disclosure, and I think that's why they gave me a refund, because some of these items... Like this one, it says 518-2020, so I, hopefully it's okay since it's still sealed and hasn't been opened. Um, but this is the Sakura Cream Daifuku, so they look like mochi, like little mochi balls with filling. So, um, yeah, so this one was 10, so yeah, it, clearly it does not have a very long shelf life um, for the price that I paid for this. Um, yeah, I'm so excited to try it. I'm sure it's probably okay. Um, but yeah, it's uh, expired <laughs> by two months. <laughs> so there we go. Okay, so that was it for the two boxes. Orders, I, I these, this, um, the order from my um, Sugoi Mart was actually pretty expensive. Um, for five items, it was 
$67, a $22 shipping, so it was quite pricey. Um, that's the only thing about buying on Sugoi Mart versus getting the subscription boxes, is that the shipping cost alone is almost worth the, like the box of the stuff. Um, it is what it is. Um, so I don't really do that too often. Um, the next one I have is my Boxu, a big for April, and then the replacement Boxu that they sent. Like the first items I showed you here, uh, it's the same company. Um, yeah, and they are also shipped via Japan Post. Um, a lot of these companies, like uh, um, Japan Crate and uh, Japan Haul, Boxu, I believe Boxu, I think, yeah, I think Boxu is doing it too, but Boxu. Um, they're doing uh, shipping via DHL, but you do have to pay like an extra $10, so that is something to consider when you're thinking about the cost of the subscription plus the additional cost of shipping. Something you want to consider, keep in mind. Um, so one of these boxes was free. Um, yeah, I think technically, so the first items I showed you, I think I had gotten refunds on both just because it was so, you know, it's food. Um, and, and it's like a couple months late, right? So it kind of makes sense. Like at first I felt kind of bad, but then now when you kind of think about it, a lot of like one of those items is expired. <laughs> um, I'll still eat it and stuff, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so I'll show you the first box. I don't know which one is which, and they don't really say in their pamphlets. Um, so I'll just go ahead and show you what I got. So the first one here, we have the, I guess this is their birthday. They've been uh, in business for four years. It's been four years since I started Boxu. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, so. Support the incredible makers behind items like this. Months, 100 year old Kyoto family business. Okay, okay. So, this is the Boxu like birthday box, volume 13. So, they've been around for a few years. So, it's rainbow birthday. Okay, so here's the pamphlet. Okay, so this, this must be April because the next box I'm about to show you what is a citrus, is this one, the citrus one. The next month's hint, hot summer days, uh, May 2020. Yeah, so this is the April box, it looks like. Okay, you think that they would say it since it's their birthday in this in this pamphlet, but they don't. Uh, it just says it's their birthday. Start started in six, 2016. All right, so let's show you guys. So this is that one, Oops. and you already see this is actually one of the items I ordered. The yuzu peel so that's what that looks like so we got more yuzu peel candies we have some oh this kind of decorated this kind of fun colored Ido tamari candy this looks like it's kind of birthday thing it's, it's like all different it's all different colors so okay so you kind of see that so that one Embroidered balls used in children's games. Oh, they're made to look like that. Okay. Each candy is a different flavor. Uh, peach mecan, mecan, mecan. I don't know what that is. Grape, melon, uh, quince, and more. Okay, and then we have the can of yuzu peel. Uh, it's chewy and tart. Don't worry if you think these candy pills might be too sour. Okay, because yuzu is very sour. Um, but since it's candy, it has like a sweet taste to it. Okay, so we have that. So, all right, so let's get into this item. We get a lot of items like this, like this um, kind of cracker type of thingy. Okay, so these are the mochi puffs, Mijin mochi puffs. Uh, so yeah, they're like just rice, kind of rice crackers, uh, airy texture. Snacks, delicate texture, sweet and nutty flavor, make it wildly addicting. Okay, so yeah, it's just kind of like a, kind of like a rice puff. Okay, 
And this next one looks like it's a some sort of like curry fries, chips. AG Curry. These wheat and potato puffs are both light and flavorful, a combination we love. Curry was introduced in Japan during the Meiji era, 1868 through 1912. Ooh, that was kind of a long time ago, so I am surprised and then I'm not at the same time. It's been one of Japan's most popular dishes, which is true. I've seen a lot of like Japanese curries, one of my favorite curries. Um, yeah, so there's that one. So that one's cool. All right, so ooh, look at this one. This looks like a little cake. A little cake. Hopefully it's not expired, right? <laughs> um, all right. This one is the Sakura cake. Certainly pretty and pink. It's flavored with real Sakura flowers, and if you're lucky, you may find a whole blossom baked in your cake. Reminds us of Japan's cherry blossom blooms. If you do stumble upon a flower, you may notice sudden saltiness, and that's because sakura often preserved in salt for use in food and drinks. Yes, I've gotten I've gotten sakura flowers. I think I may still have some in my cabinet. Preserved sakura flowers, and they're so salty. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like how do people eat this? Because I'm like it it was so it was so salty. Like so, if you have any tips on like how to use that. I'm curious because a lot of the stuff I receive is like sweet Sakura things. So I'm like, it was like, yeah, it was salt. I thought it was sugared, but it was salt. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so salty. It was so weird. But yeah, let me know how, some suggestions on how to use that. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's good to know. They're preserved and salt to use in food and drinks. Do you like wash them? Like, I don't know. It's weird. Okay. All right, the next one I have here, clearly peach, and it looks like, ooh, this is a giant, it feels like a one giant chewy thing. Oh, it has the, oh my gosh, it has like the uh, 2020 like Olympic symbol on here, which obviously did not happen. <laughs> uh, yeah, Tokyo 2020 uh, Paralympic Games, that, yeah, just clearly did not happen. <laughs> uh, everything going on. Um, okay, so that one, tart yet sweet flavor, these are gummies, okay, I think, like I thought, these are supposed to be individual gummies, I think they all melted together, yeah, this, this feels like a melt, they are, they're all melted into one, <laughs> so that's gonna be interesting, uh, yeah. So natural peach, it's made with natural peach juice and shaped in a peach, but now it's in one big, one big peach because it's all melted. Uh, okay. So it's kind of what they look like here. It's supposed to look like. Yeah. Okay. So, all right, the next one we have here is like this little sesame cookie. So sesame cookie. Sesame cookie, where are you? Alright, so this is the black sesame cookie. Good guess. Uh, black sesame seeds are needed throughout the dough, adding texture and flavor. Black sesame is nutty aroma makes it a favorite for desserts in Japan. So it's like a short, I guess it's just like kind of a shortbread cookie. Very it's very straightforward. Yeah. It's buttery. Okay, so it's just like a sesame, black sesame shortbread cookie. The next one here, I believe, is some sort of tea, because I saw it in here as I was flipping through. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. And I was actually seeing uh, recipes in a, like, a boba recipe book for black sesame latte. So, black sesame is the star of the show. It's ground into a fine powder, blended with roasted soybean powder. Milk powder rounds out the trio for an easy instant latte. I don't think this is caffeinated. Is it? It's, it's uh, by Nito Tea. Yeah, I don't think this is actually. It doesn't say. You think they would say. It says it's vegetarian, product of Tokyo, it has milk and soy. Uh, 
can use this for pudding too. Um, yeah, milk, milk, black sesame. Yeah, so I don't even know if this is caffeinated. Yeah, I get, so you just you just mix this with hot water. I'm excited for that. But it would be nice to know if that was caffeinated. All right, the next one we have here is a rather big package. Um, this is the Showa no Yoshu, Yoshoku Shitori Ham Katsu Senbei. Okay, that's very long. Okay, these are rice crackers. Um, Hamukatsu gained popularity in Japan during the Showa era. Top of this special sauce, these senbei truly recreate this beloved flavor. Okay, so I'm going to open this because it doesn't really say what that is. Just that they're a type of popular... Oops, sorry, it's right now. Oh, ooh. This is very fragrant. Look at that, it's very fragrant. It's, it's like barbecue. Huh. Yeah, it tastes like barbecue. I'm honestly not a huge fan, and that's probably because I'm just not big on barbecue sauce. My husband will probably like these though, so I'll probably give I'll probably give that to him. But it is a very strong taste. Mm -hmm. This has alcohol in it. Mm. Sweet, savory, and salty. Yeah, it's it's a little too much for me. Um, so, okay, the last item we have here, it's like some sort of mochi, yeah, so mochi, alrighty, Kuro, Kuroi Kanaku San Dango Mochi, this is supposed to be sweet, Mochi dumplings, oh, um, flavored with kuramitsu, a Japanese black sugar syrup. They are rolled in roasted soybean powder for a classic flavor combination. The nuttiness of kanaku helps balance the sweetness of the kuramitsu for a subtle flavor. Okay, so my kitties are messing around here. Probably taking over the box. So I'm going to try this out, see what I think. See, this one looks expired too, uh, 615. But it's not, you know, generally speaking, it, it's pr probably okay if it hasn't been open. That's pretty good. Yeah, you can taste it. It's like a, it tastes like black sugar, like boba milk to you. Yeah. That's what that tastes like to me. It's good. That's pretty good. I like that. So, okay, so I think that's all I have for this box. So this box is, I believe, 27. And initially, I'm like, you know, I feel like there are um, some of the other Japanese boxes, like Wow Box or Japan Crate, um, like have larger snacks, but I really like what I really like about these snacks is they're more artisan, meaning like they're not like things you would just find and say like they're equivalent to like a 7-Eleven. They have like just more natural like snacks here and just like things you wouldn't ordinarily find and say like a Mitsuwa or something like that where like the same kind of snacks that they just sell everywhere that are more mass produced. Hello, Yanko. This, this little shit likes to pee in people's sandals. Okay, just had to say that. All right, so that is it for this box. So I'm gonna have to eat these pretty soon just because, as I said, it was two months late. And yeah, I got everything here. It was two months late, but that's fine. Just have to eat these a little bit sooner. But yeah, those crackers, um, little chips tasted like a little bit like they were getting a, 
said the expiration was 7:20, which is two days from now, and they're getting a little like by, like that softer texture where it's kind of not kind of going getting like bad, I guess. <laughs> So I think I'm also gonna show you on camera what I'm gonna, how I'm gonna react to these lemon peel candies. Okay. So they just look like you know an orange peel. And I've never been fortunate enough to find actual yuzu fruit, even in Mitsua. So if you guys know if there's like a specific time of the year where they may have it, I read that California, certain parts of California and Asian markets may have it, so let me know. And I'm super curious. But this is pretty good. The sugar definitely balances out like the tart flavor of that. Mm. It's good though. All right, so this is the May box. The theme is tangy citrus. So we got that and I love citrus. So I'm excited about this one. Um, we'll see like, looks like oranges, blood oranges, lemons, probably yuzus. Okay. Hmm. I'm probably gonna take a picture of this one because I am curious. Uh, So the first thing we have here is this ginger and yuzu. This looks like a drink. This looks like a drink. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm so glad I got this replacement box. I'm excited. But where's the drink? Okay, drink. Okay, herbal tea. Uh, make summer wonderful summer beverage. Recommending enjoying this one cold on a hot summer day okay good to know because i usually i prefer my caffeinated drinks to be hot and if i'm going to have something herbal i'd prefer that to be cold uh it also be great hot if it's chilly it's still pretty it's still summer here where it's 100 degrees <laughs> um uh, so okay i'll probably try this out make an ice drink so i think you just just wanted to let you guys know that my camera had died. Uh, I'm not sure what happened, but the following footage was of a completely different video, so that's kind of a bummer. But I think I was pretty much just wrapping this video up, um, and the camera probably stopped like shortly before I was done. That's probably why maybe I missed it. Kind of a bummer, but uh, I'll show you guys these uh, Yuzu Meringue candies here which are pretty good. Um, and yeah, that's about it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.